Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you are doing extremely well. So today in this video, we are going to solve problem of the day on the Geeks for Geeks platform. So today's problem is Tom and Jerry, right? So as usual, first of all, we'll be understanding the problem statement, then the logic part, and then we'll be coding it up, right? So let's get started with the problem statement now. The problem says Tom and Jerry being bored in this pandemic decides to play a game. Given an integer n on each player's turn, that player makes a move by subtracting a divisor of current n, which is less than n, from current n, thus forming a new n for the next turn, the player who does not have any divisor left to subtract loses the game. The game begins with Tom playing the first move, both Tom and Zeri play optimally. The task is to determine who wins the game, return 1, if Tom wins, as return 0. So basically they are having okay so the question is easy first of all so obviously you'll be able to solve right so we are having an integer n and what is happening here a game is there right a game is there which tom and jerry is playing as they are getting bored so uh, now first of all they have mentioned that tom is going to make the first move right tom is going to play the first now how they are playing this game basically so for with this integer n right that you're having so they are uh, subtracting a divisor of current n so right that's what they are doing so they are continuously doing this thing, right, in a consecutive way. And uh, as if they are subtracting a divisor from current n, it will form a new n for the next turn, right? Now what we have to do is the player who who does not have any divisor left, right? So at certain instance, it would happen that there is no divisor left to to, to divide a particular number. So that particular so that particular player will lose the game, right? So that's what it is. Now, whatever task is, we have to determine who wins the game. If Tom wins, then we have to return 1, otherwise we have to return 0. So, this is the first example. Let's understand with the help of this example. n equal to 2 we have, right? So, now what Tom will do, Tom will subtract 1 from n, right? Uh, 1 is obviously a divisor of 2 and it is lesser than that of n, okay? So, now we are left with 1. Now, Jerry isn't left with any possible turn, right? We cannot see. For 1, we don't have any divisor, right? Now left. So, Zeri isn't left with any possible turn. So, Tom wins the game and therefore, the output is 1. Now, for 4, n equal to 4, we are getting 1. It means Tom wins in uh, in this case as well. Let's see how. So, in the first time, what would happen? Um, 4 we have, right? So, what we can do is, uh, as if they have mentioned, right, that we can do so, subtract the number n with a divisor of with any divisor which is less than n. So what they are doing, we are simply uh, subtracting, it, subtracting it with 1 itself, right? So 4 minus 1, we will be having 3. Now this is Zeri turn, Zeri also subtracting this with 1. So the new number n is 2. Now Tom turn it is, Tom is also subtracting it with 1. Now Jerry turn it is n equal to 1. Jerry cannot subtract uh, now this one, right? Because there is no value that exists which divide n equal to 1 that is less than that of 1, right? So who will win? Tom will win, right? So that's what uh, it is happening, right? Uh, just just think about it. If the number was, if the number was five, then how it would be? When number was five, so what? Uh, who will play first? Tom will play. So Tom will subtract one from it, right? Now the number is four. Jerry will play. Jerry will subtract one from it. Now, now the number is three. Tom will play. Tom will subtract one from it. Now the number is two. Uh, Jerry will play. Jerry will subtract one from it, and the number is one now. And now for Tom, there is no possibility, right? Tom cannot subtract any value, so Jerry will win. Means we will return zero, right? So what do you understand by this? Is that if the number is even, if the number is even, Tom will win. Otherwise, Jerry will win. Hope this makes sense, right? So that's it. That's it. That's it. What we are supposed to do? We will just simply check if the number is even. Return what? Return one. Otherwise, we will be returning zero. Right. So I hope uh, the problem statement, the logic part is clear. Just two lines or uh, two, three lines of code that we have to write and that's it. So let's have a look on the code. Otherwise, I believe that it is easy now. You will be able to write it by yourself. Okay. So here you can see uh, that's what we do have. So if n mod 2 equal equals 0, it means the n is divisible by 2. So we are returning 1. Otherwise, we are returning 0, right? So, I hope that it makes sense. Thank you so much for watching this video, everyone. Find the code in the description. Otherwise, I believe that it is very easy. So, you, so you don't need to check even there. So, thank you so much for watching, everyone. Bye-bye. Keep learning. Keep preparing.